Hello and welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913 and we're let's playing Dragon Quest 7. Last episode, we got Flower the Thief and now we're going through this cave to see if we can get to Dharma Shrine. Dharma Shrine. So yeah, over here is a dead end. And we have to go to those stairs up there, I believe. So let's head there now. Yeah, there's uh, some pr uh, pretty powerful monsters. And, um, yeah, you gotta go through the swamp marsh, which will take away some HP, but that's alright. And now, let's see, you gotta climb up here. And here's a new battle with new enemies. Mantipoline and zombie eyes. And yeah, Flower helps out, but he's not really that good. So yeah, this is the first battle. Well, the first real battle we can fight against monsters without our abilities. And it's a pain in the butt. Yay! They're not too tough, even without our abilities. So that's pretty good. But yeah, this 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 area can be difficult. I guess. I mean, I, I'm pretty high on the levels, but not that high actually. Yep. Yeah, maybe. So over here, um, let's go up here first and see what we got. I think this is just a big ass loop here. Because I think we have to go through the marshes. Yep, yep, big ass loop. As you can see, I'm an idiot and uh, we're going through this again. Yay, fun times. So, um, no, that, I think those are the stairs going down. That's not the right way. Oh, yeah, there's no treasures in this cave either, so don't worry about collecting anything. But here we are at a new floor. That's a pretty neat floor with all this water and stuff. It's kind of cool, I guess. It's like refreshing rather than... I'm gonna deal with all the poison marsh and stuff. Alright, now here are these monsters. If we attack head on, there's no way we win. Oh, so. Oh, so he's pulling like a solid snake here. Oh no. Who the heck is Antora? And, oh, now they're gonna pummel the crap out of me. Oh no. Now we gotta fight Inop and Gon. Kinda reminds me of the uh, two henchmen uh, Gemma had. But yeah, this is a battle you can't win. So just uh, fight away. Because you're not gonna be able to win. Even with the Wonder Rock and even with a bunch of herbs. They have, a bun they have infinite HP. Because they have some special powers from and Tora, so you can't beat him. But I'm, I mean, I'm not doing too bad. I mean, if I had some skills, I could have probably beat this guy. But what's gonna happen to us now? Oh, look at that. Neris saves us again. What a nice lady. I don't even know how she got to... Oh, we collapsed in front of town. How the hell did we get out of that cave? Jeez. What? Yeah. How did we get... Yeah, that, that flower used us to get further in the cave. But, like, what is further in the cave? I don't even know. So now what's going on with Zaji and Neris here? Where, the, where are they going? Why am I watching the house? 
Yes, let's go follow them. And they talk about it even if we're just standing there. And it looks like Zaji doesn't want anyone's help here to do whatever. I mean, get medicine from Neris, I guess. But she seems like a nice person. And she kind of likes Kasim, I guess. That temple guard guy. So, let's go follow them in the night. We're gonna do some night walking. Uh, yeah, I do. I do know that Zaji can't... Is, is like a... Is like a mama's boy, but with his sister. Now, this guy... That guy is gonna be some trouble later. And this is just a town... Uh, low lives and thieves and stuff. And here's Neris. Sure, we can go after your bro bro. Look at these guys are having a nice bonfire. That's nice, huh? Isn't that nice? Look at this bonfire. Isn't that nice? Look at this bar. Isn't that nice? Yeah, he's not hurting anyone. He's just very protective of his sister. Oh, so they're gonna make a deal or something? Listen, take it easy there, Zaji. Alright, you can watch your brother, or I mean your sister. Aww. It's not like Kasim is, or uh, Kasim is doing anything wrong. Just He's just trying to court Neris, as the word would be. What do we have going on now? I guess, uh... I guess we'll just go back to Neris' house. Maybe take a nap or something. So let's head there. To take a nap or something. Because that's basically all we can do. No, we gotta... What am I doing here? Yeah, I know. If you guys stop being rivals and start being friends... Rivals over Neris's affection. Even though, uh, Zaji's his brother. Her brother. Keep saying he. Whatever. Anyways, let's, uh, let's keep going here. Uh oh. A soul piercing scream. Let's check this out. Uh oh. I like the music for the situation, it's pretty cool. Oh, well, oh no. Uh oh, that guy's got a soul sword. This is not good. That man is insane. Quick, see if we get him. Oh no, now he's running away. Get him. We don't need no soul stattering around here. So let's follow them. Oh no, you got another guy. I didn't force you to look at nothing. I didn't force you to do anything you don't want to do. So he's got three. Oh no, he's got four. One more. And he's gonna be able to get his stuff back. Come on, Sifu. Yeah, and Kasim, both of you take him down. Nice, they'll be able to take him down. Oh! Oh no! Oh, Zaji! What the frig? Nice job, Sifu. What, are the monsters gonna give him his powers back, or what? Oh, he didn't... He didn't get him all good. Oh, 
Oh, uh, they're taking him away. Oh no. These monsters have like... They've got this town like under wraps here. They're just taking people in crime. This is terrible. We'll have to get Zaji back somehow. Yeah, calm down. But we'll have to continue this in the next episode. This has been me. Bye.